kids hi yeah um that there was like a really quick lesson in why you should always always make sure you have enough sleep and probably don't go out the night before you have school all right so that was actually just a little bit of a demonstration there there's no need to tell anyone about that okay so um right, let me just i'm just about to say myself okay you there yeah yeah bless you sweetheart could you just tell me how i look i mean a nod isn't really helping right i'm sure i look fabulous okay so your teacher miss james yeah she's um actually ill today so i am your substitute all right and my name is miss amy yeah so it's nice to meet all of you yeah hi back there yeah hello all right so just to check all of you can hear me okay yeah you can hear me right at the back beautiful sorry i don't know if you heard that but i actually went out last night yeah and um i've got a really sore throat yes i'm gonna have to kind of like whisper softly speak a little bit yeah so you gotta make sure you get your ears switched on all right great well welcome back welcome back after your summer holidays how you all doing then a bit bored already yeah i don't blame you to be honest it is quite boring isn't it yeah i mean to be honest with you the only good thing really is that you know once a school day is done it's done isn't it you know and you've only got a few years of it and you don't have to worry about paying for like your car or a house or anything really so you know it's quite good really in that sense it's just kind of the learning stuff that's a bit boring yeah i don't know if i've got any advice about that no <sighs> okay so miss james has written down a little lesson plan for today so i think what we should do is just have a little flick through that all right <sighs> right oh she's left me oh my god your uh, Miss James is a bit of a well I won't give her a word but there's a lot of notes here like a lot oh god I've left my glasses at home as well yeah I really want to get my eyes lasered though to be honest with you because oh my god let's face it glasses are ugly so okay alright let me see we've got to go through basic maths um let's check they've got all the equipment um blah blah yeah okay yeah you know what we're not going to do what miss james says today no because oh, i have got so much more fun things planned yeah so what i'm thinking is because you may you may already guess this but i haven't always been a substitute teacher no see i actually used to work in the beauty field yeah i did i did well there's no need to all right pipe down you yeah right so yeah i used to work in the beauty field i actually have my own salon yeah it was beautiful imagine all pink inside ah oh, it was amazing and then there was just too much competition yeah and you know 
For me, to have to lower my prices to compete with people would mean lowering my standards and I just couldn't do that. So I had a few bills to pay and a friend of mine suggested I get into kind of teaching assistance and things like that. And I just kind of fell into this, you know. So I think what would be really good is if I use my expertise, because I have got a lot of it, I thought I'd use that today to help all of you out with maybe some little questions about how to be popular, things like that. Yeah, because really, beauty is all about making yourself look as good as you can and in turn, like, the better you look, like, the more people who are going to want to be like your best friend and you know it's just going to be like you're going to have to like bat them away do you know what I mean I was okay well we'll just we'll just go along and we'll just see how it is because I'm seeing a lot of black faces bless you alright so um to start with though we better do the basics because otherwise I'll get told Alright, let's do the boring stuff first and then we'll get to the fun. Okay? So, I have a list of equipment and things that you should have. Okay? So, to start with, and I'm going to ask you to put all your stuff in the air, by the way, so I can see. I am going to need to see if you have a notebook. Yeah, let's hold, let's hold them all up. Oh, that's a fancy one, isn't it? Yeah, is he a bit of a rich kid? Yeah, bless him. That's lovely, that is, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, looks like everybody's got a notebook. That's great. I'll actually show you my notebook because <laughs> I'm not being funny or anything, but it's so cute. Like, you're all going to be really jealous. So, this is my notebook. Don't look at my nails, guys. Honestly, like, these are a disgrace. Yeah, I mean, have you seen them? God, honestly. I know, obviously, I can do beauty, but obviously, like, I don't do my own nails. And my manicure is Shelley's on holiday, so... Nightmare. Anyway, this is my notebook. And I just think... What is a really good thing to do when picking out your stationery is to kind of think about your personality and just think, like, how do I want to be represented? So, obviously, I am a very bubbly, bright individual and I have chosen this pink kind of faux leather notebook says notes on it so you can never forget what it is because I'm quite forgetful and yeah I just think it's really beautiful to be honest it's nice isn't it yeah I can all see you nodding it is really nice so we've all got our notebooks so gold stars to all of you and now I, I, I don't know where the gold stars are or it's a virtual gold star all right so, the next thing on the list is highlighters. Yeah. No, you can just hold up one of them. Okay, so let's have a little count. Who's got the highlighters? Yeah, lovely. You've got yours. Oh, brilliant. Okay, yeah, I've seen. The last class who I taught oh, I'm not being funny or anything I don't know what had happened to those kids but literally they just had nothing like I, oh, honestly I had to spend like a whole morning like giving them out all the supply stock and oh, I just haven't got time for that you know so I'm really really pleased that you've got everything so far it's really good now I'll show you mine okay so I've got these little ones Mine are a little bit dirty though, so I'm sorry about that. I know that's not very glamorous, but I've got these ones here, and 
I really love highlighters because as I said I'm quite forgetful so it's just a really good idea that like whenever you see something like in a textbook and you think you know what that might be on a test just like whip out the highlighter do you know what I mean literally oh, I just think they're like some of the best things you know so what I want to ask though and probably Miss James Miss Little Goody Two Shoes wouldn't ask this but I'm gonna ask it do we have any highlighter sniffers it's you isn't it yeah there's no point trying to hide it babe yeah so basically you really shouldn't sniff highlighters no I know it's really good but you just shouldn't okay well I used to go to school with a boy who used to do it and basically now he can't even write his own name oh well, no it is true look who is the teacher thank you so kids just a little shout out there all right highlighters are for your books lovely okay so we're doing well now the next thing obviously that you need is a really cute pencil case yeah to make sure that you've got everything together all at once so pop those pencil cases in the air kids lovely oh I like that one yeah it's shaped like a little dog I like that um yeah oh it's dinosaur shape that is very nice yeah a bit retro that isn't it yeah fun fun um sparkly love it love it mermaid very on trend I'm feeling it oh babes that's a bit basic isn't it yeah, did you pick that out? You don't really like school, so you don't care. That's fine, babes. That's what that pencil case is saying anyway, so that's good. Okay, so, lovely. Now's the best bit while I'm going to show you mine. Okay, so, this is, honestly, I know, bless you, like, some of you obviously can't afford some of the stuff that I can afford, but, like this is something to aim for okay so this is my pencil case and obviously it's rose gold which is so on trend I always like to make sure that I'm on trend and this has got a nice little concealed zip under here and obviously you've got your zip up here as well and then you've also got a little back pocket as well so I just think like if you hate school and I'm gonna aim this at you babe if you don't like school like you gotta think of things that can like make it a bit interesting and obviously like some of you bless you you can't afford everything and that's all right that's all right have some fun making some things you know get a really boring pencil case buy a really cheap pack of stickers stick stuff over it do you know what i mean just like give some things a bit of personality you know so if you can afford it this is like you probably don't know this bless you yet but the creme de la creme of pencil cases so if this pencil case were like a designer item like it would just be in all of the magazines basically so this is something to aim for okay but if not as i said go for like customizing things okay now the other thing obviously we all need is we need our pens and we need our pencils now you're told to have at least two of each okay so a spare one each so could you just all get those out for me right lovely Oh, I like that one with the little bubble at the top. That's cute, yeah. Um, oh, what's, what's that one got on it? No, I think you should give that one to me, actually. 
Yeah, could you give that one to me? Thank you. Nicely. Darling, where did you get this pen? No, see, this is this is quite a rude pen. You got it off your dad. Dad's a bit sleazy, isn't he? Right. Okay, don't worry. I'll sort you out for another one in a minute. Okay, so everybody else got their pens. You got your pens, pencils. Okay, I think we're all good to go then. I'm not going to bother showing you my pens and pencils because they're pretty basic, to be honest with you. Uh, but now, the other thing that we all need, of course, is an eraser for your pencils. Okay, have we got erasers? Yeah, lovely. I'm seeing them all. They're pretty boring can get some fun ones though yeah see that's a multicolored one that's very nice yeah um, oh we got a star shaped one over here fun lovely okay you're all doing me proud today you are so let's move on then we just got a couple more things to get through and then i promise you i'll give you a bit of advice okay because oh, honestly i'm getting myself bored already okay so the next thing that you need kids is some document wallets i know it's quite boring but obviously i've got myself some pink ones to match and i'll just get one of these out for you to show you so these are just some little a5 ones okay everybody see that yeah and you can just pop in your little notes you know to these now you can get bigger ones of these all right so you know you can get a4 ones it's the size of a piece of paper yep so it's completely up to you i'd have both all right but yeah just make sure you have some document wallets because honestly it just makes our job a lot easier because if you keep your notes and your papers all nice and flat it means we don't have to like unwrinkle like screwed up bits of paper you know now there was something else but i'm not gonna lie to you i kind of forgot so kind of one thing i guess that i think would be really important would be like a really cute lunch box yeah so obviously if you're not having like school dinners you're gonna need to have like a really cute lunch box to bring your lunch in so how about we have a little judging competition yeah everybody get out their lunch bags and I'm gonna judge the top three, all right? Because I do have an eye for style. Right, you're out. No. No. Oh god, I don't like that one. No. Oh, sequins. I like that. Yeah. Does it do that thing where like you go over it and then it goes another colour? you're you're in the running at the moment you are right dinosaur kid a dinosaur shaped lunchbox i'm feeling it i am i'm loving that yeah i'm loving the theme as well see that's what all of you got to think about yeah a theme so no i don't like that i don't like that mm, it's okay no no that's mm, okay no that's all right no I quite like this one yeah it's got like a mirrored effect to it i like that i like that because i think it's very important to think about your appearance when you're in school yeah i would say that's almost as important to be honest with you as the learning yeah so good you're in for the running lovely I was going to pick another one just to make it interesting but I can't really be bothered so I think oh it's a tough one I'm going to put you babe all right in third place for your sequiny lunchbox yeah it's a good effort but I'm not seeing like a general theme across like your stationery your lunchbox and like your backpack you know so third place it's not bad so it's a toss up between dinosaur boy and the mirrored one dinosaur boy you're going second place all right it's very respectable and i appreciate you with the theme but in first place guys oh 
the beautiful mirrored lunchbox, you can't go wrong, can you? All right. Well done. See me afterwards. I've got a cheeky chocolate bar for you. Yeah, I probably shouldn't give it to you, but I will. All right. So lovely, lovely. We got through all the boring stuff. Yeah. The, oh God, honestly. Oh, that sort of stuff I just find so boring. Yeah. I mean, who cares? Honestly. There's things like calculators as well you'll need, but honestly, like, most of you have phones, right? Yeah, and you don't need to learn math anyway. Like, I'm not even being funny, but I just don't even know probably, like, my 12 times table. Do you know what I mean? Like, we've got phones, so don't worry about all that, okay? So, oh, right, let me relax a bit. Oh, good. Oh, it's been a long day, honestly, already. Well, yeah, I know it's only 10 o'clock. Oh, God. Right. <sighs> okay. My advice. Obviously, this is the really important bit of the lesson, to be honest with you. So, I want all of you listening. So, how to... How should I discuss it first? How should we be popular at school? So, appearance is going to play a huge part in that. All right, now some of you are too young to have work done. Obviously, back at my beauty salon, I did offer things like Botox. I did, but you're going to be too young for that sort of stuff. So what I'm going to say is things like facial masks, all right, just to really brighten up your skin. Um, also, I mean, if you want to add a bit of makeup here and there, it's definitely going to help you, babe. Yeah. Well, probably you as well yeah so a little bit of makeup just to kind of enhance those features now lunchbox people winners i think you stand a really good chance because like image wise you've got it all going on you know so the rest of you pay attention to these three okay because they are on the right tracks yeah and it's really really important to make a good first impression do you know what i mean so just have a little think about that when you go home tonight okay about making a good impression making yourself look as good as you can okay now some of you unfortunately there's not a lot that can be done i'm going to be brutally honest so you're going to have to be kind of like the personality piece okay larger than life characters so a bit of homework for you is going to be to go home and kind of work on some jokes you know work on your personality a lot maybe practice in front of the mirror or camera you know that's going to be really important for you what else what else okay um ah now of course you have to kind of decide whether you want to be popular or whether you want to be like the teacher's pet. Now, if you're looking for like a career long term and you're really intelligent and like you love school, you're probably going to be the teacher's pet. Okay. Now, the issue with that is like kids are probably not going to like you as much. So that's something you're going to have to deal with. If you're going to go down the popular route, what's probably going to happen is a bit later in life, like you're probably not going to do very well in exams because you're going to be too worried about your social life, you know? So you've got to really weigh up. Would you rather be like attractive or would you rather like have a career? Do you know what I mean? So, I mean, you can be blessed with like doing both because I'm not being funny or anything but like obviously I've got the brains and the beauty so um yeah you just got to decide really what's going to be right for you but um that is something that I would start to think about now okay I mean some of you the route is pretty obvious yeah okay um what else can I think about oh that's right so if you are someone who you think you're a bit weird, yeah, what you've got to do is you've got to try and find the other weirdos, 
okay so like I can't even go into like the spectrums of weirdness but like if you look around other people and you're like why are they doing that like you're probably the weird one you know so if you feel a bit out of place and a bit weird then try and find your group so that you can all be weird together you know because the likelihood is is that no one else is going to be that interested in you okay um so i think God, what have i covered i've covered looks i've covered um how to be popular different groups um a bit of kind of advice as well with obviously like career and whatever um what else can i think of oh god i'm getting a bit of a migraine honestly um sorry kids i'm not gonna lie this is probably the after effects of going out too late um oh that's one that is one if you are gonna be up late the night before school or you're gonna like go out to a party or something i mean you're a bit young for that yet but if you're gonna be out basically what you're gonna have to work on is like how to get through the day so as i said you're a bit young at the moment but you can get things like perk you up during the day like you know vitamin boost and things like that um also i would recommend a lot of caffeine okay because you kind of don't want your teachers to like catch on to you being really tired because oh, then you're just gonna get like sent to the head teacher and it's gonna be really boring and uh, you just don't want to be sat through that you know so um yeah that's another bit of advice um oh, let's see how much time we got left okay we just got a little bit okay what can i fill this time with um so um what was i supposed to be going on today basic maths yeah we've already talked about that haven't we because we've already said like we're just going to use our phones so that's fine i mean i suppose my last bit of advice would be school is obviously a very important part of life it's also a privilege if you get to go because not everybody gets to go kids they don't so if you get to go to school it is a very good opportunity and you should use that opportunity to be the best version of yourself however school's not for everyone it's not i'm not gonna lie and some of you are gonna be there and you're gonna be oh, honestly tired and bored and you're just not going to understand the work and it's going to be pretty pointless all right so to all of you kids all i'm going to say to you is personality will largely get you through life okay also i'm a great believer in energies positive energies yeah you put out positive energies to the world you're going to get positive energy back okay so later in life if you haven't now got a career that's kind of what i'm going to say to you that you're going to have to kind of rely on your personality to like meet the right sort of people you know um and also anything that like you don't learn or you don't know you've just got google haven't you yeah so don't worry about it too much you know just ask siri do you know what i mean so um that's it for today kids all right i've been miss amy yeah don't forget that name all right when you're recommending me to the head teacher to come back all right well i mean that would be nice yes getting some nodding yes that would be nice wouldn't it miss amy yes lovely right right so um if you could all just get off now to your next lesson all right if anybody asks you had a really amazing time today all right and you also learned an amazing amount of maths yeah brilliant if anybody tries to like give you a little quiz just get your phone out all right so um yeah there's no time for questions all right so i'll just see you all soon probably all right bye then kids yeah bye bye everyone
Yeah, oh no, don't forget your pencil case. That's it. All right. Lovely. Enjoy the rest of your day. All right. Oh my God, seriously. The glasses they put me in, like. That lot are definitely, definitely just going to have to be popular. It's not going to be their personalities getting through. Bless them. Mind you, some of them, they're not going to be the attractive ones. Right, I need to go and get another coffee. Oh.